Hey guys, this is it. The 2025 Ram 1500 Rev REV, the Ram electric vehicle. It's of course all electric, but it has some specs of a traditional truck. I'll explain to you what I mean in this video. This is the New York Auto Show 2023. And right here, right now, I'm gonna take you all the way around the truck, outside and in, and tell you every specification you wanna know. Here at TFL, we make you a promise. You saw it here first. Well, indeed, you are one of the first in the world to get an up close and personal look at the 2025 Ram 1500, the Rev. So first, let me give you kind of a walk around from the outside because it has new styling. Even though the cab and the bed, maybe the Ram box storage area look about the same as they are in the traditional internal combustion trucks right now, uh, there's still a lot of different changes. So here's a full profile view of it. The wheelbase is actually, um, hasn't changed that much from the current Ram 1500. And the bed is a five foot seven inch bed. So it's a, the most popular configuration for the Ram 1500. Uh, it's their new large cab. You can see the rear doors. Uh, and just in a couple of minutes, we'll go inside. But I wanna show you something very important because, well, first of all, this is their new tungsten trim level. Um, you haven't seen this trim level yet. Right now, the top range of the Ram 1500 is the limited edition. But now this is a tungsten edition that they're introducing at the show in this all electric form, which is supposed to be taking Ram to another level in terms of interior, materials, luxury features, etc. But take a look at the wheels. Eight lugs, these are 22s, and they have this aerodynamic design where these sections are kind of closed in. And of course, they're trying to maximize range. So let's hit the big numbers right now. There'll be two battery options. The first, the smaller battery is 168 kilowatt hours with 350 miles of range. So that's already a pretty good number. But there's also gonna be a large battery version of this truck with 229 kilowatt hours of battery, which is currently the largest available of any pickup truck, and 500 miles of range. Yes, uh, that's a huge number. How is Ram gonna achieve that? Well, this is the specification that they're listing right now. And part of their way they're doing it is of course with aerodynamics, and you can see um, and also, of course, air suspension. So this truck can kneel down. Uh, they're saying it's a 0.34 coefficient of drag. So this truck, for being a pickup, it's relatively slippery. And yes, 500 miles of range, they're saying is possible. Now, it's got two motors, two electric motors, one in the front, one in the rear. They're approximately 335 horsepower each, but the total power is list that 654 horsepower and 620 pound-feet of torque. So this is almost Ram TRX territory as far as power, I'm not quiet. But we're not talking about the TRX, we're talking about a luxury pickup truck. And then there are a couple more things for the Rev. They're saying up to 2,700 pounds of payload. Well, probably not in this luxury edition of it, but this truck will be available across the board in various trim levels, including Tradesman, Bighorn, Laramie, Limited, and this Tungsten. So up to 2,700 pounds of payload, which is, uh, for a 1,500 truck, pretty incredible, especially for the electric truck. And then they're saying 14,000 pounds of towing. Yes, I'll say it again. 14,000 pounds of maximum towing capacity for the electric truck. Once again, this luxury truck may have slightly different numbers, uh, slightly lower numbers because it has a lot of optional features, uh, but that's the range. So maximum range is 500 miles, maximum towing 14,000, and maximum payload 2,700 pounds. 
And that's what I meant when I said in the beginning, this truck has some traditional and actually class leading pickup truck numbers. Um, so it's not compromising some of those numbers to be electrified, which is what Ram was promising us. And this is a 2025 model, so it will be available on sale um, near the end of 2024. Then charging. So the charge port is right here. I'll open it up in a second. It's a 800 volt architecture, which allows for current industry leading, um, basically tying the GM trucks, 350 kilowatts of charging. And they're saying 110 miles of range is available at maximum speed to be recouped in about 10 minutes. So if you find that level three fast charger, you can recoup your energy in about 10 minutes and go and add about 110 miles. So that's not, that number kind of matches where the Chevy Silverado EV and the GMC Sierra EV trucks are. And I think this is competing directly with those trucks, even though it looks a little bit more traditional with a separate bed and separate cab configuration. It is a frame-based vehicle. It has something they call Stella or STLA electrified frame architecture, and the batteries are nestled inside. It has an independent rear suspension, so no solid rear axle. And well, that's about it for the exterior. So let's jump inside and see what's going on there. All right, I'm gonna snap my fingers and I'll show you all everything on the interior. Snap. All right, everything is open. The doors, the RAM boxes, the frunk, the tailgate, and I can show you all the way around it. Um, I forgot to mention one number, talking about the power. So before I go in, um, RAM says 4.4 seconds, zero to 60, is what they're claiming with 654 horsepower. It's approximately the same claim that GM is making with their Silverado EV and Sierra EV, even though they state more horsepower and torque, they're stating similar numbers. So really this truck on performance, as far as acceleration, is not going after uh, the likes of the Rivian, but they're competing with traditional competitors. So Ram versus GM versus Ford. Of course, the Ford Lightning is still here, uh, but the Lightning, it's already on sale and, and it sold approximately 14,000 trucks in the first quarter of this year. But uh, the Lightning has a little bit less power, 580, and a little bit less performance. Um, so what you're seeing now is the tungsten interior. Uh, these materials are representative of what it's going to look like in production, even though this is a very, very early pre-production truck. I, I love this. So they put the seat controls on the door. Uh, this is something that currently the Grand Wagoneer from Jeep uh, also has, and they share a lot actually. Um, currently the Ram 1500 and the Grand Wagoneer, Wagoneer CV share some of the frame, uh, kind of suspension um, in the front, although the rear suspension in the Grand Wagoneer is independent. And now this electric truck has independent rear suspension as well. So they do share some underpinnings. And here what you can see is the brand new 14.5 inch center display. And the truck is in kind of a demo mode right now. So it's telling you some of the power usage climate system, battery, some of the settings. This truck will have all-terrain tires and it has a rear locker, has off-road pages. So depending on what trim you buy, it will have several different components. I can tell you right now, touching this leather, um, it's super plush. Um, I don't have pricing for you right now, but I think when this truck goes on sale, it's gonna have pretty, well, high price, uh, because of course it also has a lot of technology, but also this interior uh, looks and feels super luxurious. You have a 12.3 gauge cluster, and I love that Ram is including all of their truck features. Tri tire, tire pressure monitor system on the right, brake controller gain, suspension height, 
they also have right here this knob is the to help you steer the trailer when you back up here's your rotary dial for park reverse neutral drive eco mode and front release let me show you a little bit on the interior same cab same dt cab uh, and they have of course well not of course but they do have a new premium klipsch audio system 23 speakers there's even a speaker here other speakers in the ceiling and of course suede fine finish and panoramic sunroof these rear seats are reclinable so you can actually like in the current truck pull a lever here and actually recline the seat and relax by the way the front seats do have uh, massage as well <laughs> let me get in just briefly power steps I can sit even though this is a pre-production truck I'm pretty happy to tell you that they finished the interior I think in a very nice way the passenger has their own screen you can kind of see it now it can also be put in this mo in the mode where the driver cannot see um, what's happening on this passenger screen so the passenger can also do navigation but maybe even relax and listen to some music or watch a different video separately so without distracting the driver there's of course the stitching and the piping and you can see all the nice materials and the clip system including that speaker up front right here on top of the steering wheel you can see the sensor that's watching the driver's eyes you could see it right there I can use my light so this will have hands off eyes on the road driver assistance um, driving system ADAS so that's what they're saying um, two two plus system so not a full of course autonomous system quite yet uh, but it should match where Ford and GM currently are here you can also have temperature gauges which is pretty interesting uh, for the battery and the motors and actually Ford is doing that right now too with their lightning trucks and I love that in the truck dual wireless chargers so two spots for that now and if I go outside I want to show you the front and power export features that's of course very important Ford really kind of pioneered this with the F-150 hybrid here's of course uh, level 2 level 1 level 2 and level 3 charger system and status when you plug in there's also the front logo will kind of pulsate so this logo will pulsate this RAM and it will tell you that you're charging here's a power operated front uh, REM is saying class leading 15 cubic feet of total volume uh, the prototype the concept truck they showed had a pass through here this one doesn't have it so that was one of the questions we got from you you guys said well how come the concept was out with some wild features and the production intent truck came out and it had didn't have some of those wild features well first of all they need to uh, make sure they can produce this truck but also Mark Trossel, head of design, said that the concept, basically stay tuned, that the concept has, uh, is showing other design and features that are coming to some other trucks in the future. So we're getting some of it now and maybe some others later that did not elaborate on that. But this is a huge space. Ford's front storage area, is a little bit smaller at about 14 cubic feet um, so this is indeed class leading and huge what I was showing here is 3.6 kilowatt of charging capability up front and let me show you in the bed let me show you behind uh, of course RAM boxes are very similar to what they are now watertight drainable the tailgate looks basically identical the bed looks identical 
because of the rim boxes, the walls are inward. Tie down system is here and there is 7.2 kilowatt, including 240 volt outlet here. So like I was saying, F-150 hybrid originally uh, in 2021 model year uh, had a 7.2 kilowatt system. And in my opinion, that was super useful. We used it to charge a house. We used it in many different ways. Sorry for the lights. Uh, I'm doing this on the eve before the show. Um, so, but now this one has 3.6 on the front and 7.2 in the rear, which means it has 10.8 kilowatt of export power. So uh, vehicle to vehicle, vehicle to grid, vehicle to home, Ram is saying all of that will be available, uh, which is a pretty neat feature. I'm glad they're doing this. I'm glad they're offering lots of power. And when you have 229 class leading huge battery, even bigger than the Hummer EV trucks battery, then that is, um, that is very important. Pricing is not available yet, of course. Like I said, Tradesman, Bighorn, Laramie, and Limited, and Tungsten editions of this truck will be available. And it's going to go on sale late in 2024. So thank you very much. And I'll see you on the next one. Follow OldTFL.com for everything from New York and also Moab, Utah. Uh, as they turn up the music here, I'm going to sign off. Thank you.